all right gonna do another quick video here well actually the this one's gonna be a lot quicker than the other one it might only be a few minutes long to be honest with you but it's quick okay um you guys aren't subscribed already go down drop a subscription to me turn on that notifications button and then anytime i upload a video you guys we'll get to check it out but today what i'm doing just a quick modification it's not a modification it's it's just adding cable to a trap versus the traditional chain to it. You know, a lot of people ask, can I wire it off? You know, you guys notice that I have a lot of mine with wire on it. I have a couple of them that have cable. And cable is way better than wire. You don't have to mess mess with wire, cutting it, um, having to worry about it breaking possibly on something. So today we're going to add about six feet of 332nd 7x19 cable. To one of these 330s I have here, okay? <clears throat> Yo, what's up everybody? So today, we're going to be doing a modification quick. <clears throat> Just a simple modification on a 330 bear to make, to make life a little bit easier. Now, I don't know why, but I don't like the chain on, on 330s at all. So, today I'm cutting all the chain off of them. I have done this with just a few of my traps, so I know how nice this is. You can leave the chain on if you want to. I don't like it, so I'm taking it off. There we go. Make sure I save my trap tag. Okay, now. Got my 330 counter bear here. Now, what I do need and have is a piece. This is a 332nd 7x19 cable. It's about six feet or so. And then back here in my pocket, I got two double furls and two stoppers. Okay? I'll go show you what to do with this here quick. Go for a little trip back here to the anvil. Ooh. Here we go. Something about like that, you guys. Okay. All right. Take my gloves off here quick. Okay, so. do is I'm going to put my cable through one side of the furrow here, okay, go through the other side of the furrow, back through, Ooh, careful not to get your finger on there, take one of your stoppers here, if you're not trying to, if you're not trying to do this fast, it'll work out a lot better, but put it right out to the end of your wire, Smash that. Make this loop as big as you want to. I make it. I make it so so this can freely roll around the end of the trap. Okay. So I'm gonna tighten it up just a little bit more here. Probably about like that. Try to anyway. There you go. One end of the trap there. Other end. Almost the same thing. In and back through the double furrow. It was mean, I don't have my glasses on. There we go. And once again, if you get your stopper out on the end here. Like so, there we go. Point it right about on the end. There we go. Pull that. Now, you guys, you can see we've got an adjustable loop on one end to put around a tree, around a T-bar stake, whatever you want. Other end of the wire is right here on the trap. Nothing's getting away, whatever it is. Now you have six feet of adjustable cable to put onto anything that you want. 
it works out way better than the wire I've been using. Um, I, you know, I have a few traps set up like this, and I just decided to set the rest of my traps up like this now. I did have a bunch of traps set up like this before, but they were all stolen. So now I'm going to set my new ones up like this. So there you have it. Um, for any of you beginners or any of you guys that have been trapping a while and just looking for a, a quicker, safer way to anchor your 330s, you guys, um, that is by far the best way I've seen to do it. And I'm glad I'm going to do all my traps today like this so I don't have to worry about, work, but worry about wire anymore, you guys. So, yeah, just a quick modification. Make your guys' life easier. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Thank you.